Welcome to season one of VETS. VETS is a veteran entrepreneur training series brought to you by the Southwest Veterans Business Resource Center. Recently, Sylvia Walker of the Economic Development Agency came to give us an overview of all of the Economic Development Agency services. For example, the EDA will help you recruit employees and pay 50% of their training costs. While Sylvia is from Riverside County, California, the EDA, it's a nationwide program. So you want to be sure that you find it in your county. This segment is brought to you by thearc.com. My name is Sylvia Walker. I'm with the County of Riverside, the Workforce Development Centers. Um, and what we do at the Workforce Development Center is actually um, work with businesses and job seekers um, with helping to marry the two up together. This is a way that you can find out what resources are available to you as a potential business owner or a current business owner. We have an entire database system that we utilize. So if a business calls me and indicates that they are looking to fill some positions, we can post their job leads on our EDD website and our county website. Um, and those individuals, we can have contact us with regards to the jobs to keep the traffic away from you as a business owner and only send you those individuals that are pre-screened by us. And all of that service is done completely free of charge. You do pay for it, but you're going to pay for it whether you use it or not because you're going to pay for it with your business taxes. So my suggestion to all business owners is to take advantage of what resources are available to you. It's there for you to utilize. If you don't use it, I can assure you there are going to be other businesses that will. Okay. In addition to that, we offer um, entering our employer information into our database system. We will develop job descriptions for an employer. So if I have, for an example, a new employer that comes to me and the employer is not really familiar with all that goes into creating a job description, we can create job descriptions for that employer so that you can use that as a baseline within your organization and you can modify it from that point forward. Uh, we provide a marketing with regards to positions that you may have available. So once you provide the job descriptions to us, we will market them for you. We also provide pre-screening services where we will pre-screen the candidates. We will call them. There are times when we have them come in and have a face-to-face -face interview with our staff, um, depending on the type of position that we're trying to fill. And all of that we will do for an employer. We um, provide testing at times for employers with, where that's done at our office and not necessarily at your particular work site. We'll test individuals so that they meet a certain criteria for an employer based on the occupation that they may be applying for. And we refer to other businesses and provide counseling to those job seekers, okay? We also provide follow-up for employers. Like we will follow up with an employer because once we work with a business, we have an account with that particular business owner. And the business solutions consultant would then follow up with that employer to find out whom did you hire? Um, were you satisfied with the services? Was there something else that we could provide for you? Things of that nature. Rapid response. This is obviously the type of service that we would not want to have to provide regularly, but it is available for employers in the event that they want to use it. Our rapid response services are for the purposes of helping a business when they need to downsize. So with the recruitment, you're kind of ramping up your business, you're hiring new staff. This is actually when you have to let people go. And so for an example, when we started out <clears throat> in the economy, when we had a really, you know, a downturn with our economy, lots and lots and lots of businesses were laying off people in large numbers. One of the things that we will do is we will go out to a business in order to help lessen the negative implications that a, um, a rapid response or a layoff, a massive layoff, has to a particular business, we will go out to a business and meet with those individuals that are being impacted by way of that layoff, and we will explain to them how they can go about utilizing our services from a job seeker standpoint, you know, and how they can go about applying for their unemployment insurance and what process they have to go through in order to establish that. Because that can be a very scary time for individuals when you are laying off from a company. It helps you as a business owner come across a lot more sensitive to those individuals that you do have to let go 
just because by the nature of our economy and the downturn of our business, as a result, it's not something that I enjoy doing, but at least if I have to lay you off and I have to let you go, these are some of the options and these are things that may be available to you to kind of help you and to help lessen the, um, the negative implications to what is about to happen you know, to an individual when you have to lay them off. Hiring and training incentives. This is one of our most popular programs that we have with the Workforce Development Center. Um, and this is something that employers usually are very, very interested in. Our, it's often referred to as our OJT program. And this is a program where we provide um, an incentive to an employer for hiring an individual in an occupation that they do not necessarily have experience in. The OJT program is designed to help twofold in that it helps an employer um, you know, get an incentive to offset perhaps some of their operating costs to train an individual, while at the same token offering a, opening the door, I guess you can say, for an individual um, to access uh, opportunity that they may not ordinarily have had the opportunity to access because they didn't have the skills to do it. Normally you have employers that will usually say things such as, I'm looking for somebody that um, can do the job and hit the ground running when I hire them. But you also have some employers that are willing to train an individual because they feel that their particular um, skill for that particular occupation is going to require some distinct training. And I'm willing to train a person rather than bring someone on who has experience. Because sometimes people who have the experience you know, they have their mindset in the way this job is supposed to be done, and they don't want to hear how I want it done, but I want it done the way I want it done. So I'm willing to train somebody who does not have the experience. We'll provide an incentive to you as an employer. We'll pay you 50% of that individual's salary up to a maximum of 480 hours of training. So this is why it's kind of a popular program of ours. Now, some of the criteria for that, because I know you're probably saying, oh, okay, what's the catch? Some of the criteria for that is it has to be a full-time position. So they have to work at least 32 hours a week or more. It has to be a position that plays a minimum wage rate of $12 an hour or more. The reason why that is being done is because our objective with this program is to try to put people in an occupation that provides a livable wage. So as a result of you being an employer that's willing to provide um, that type of um, opportunity for an individual, the government is willing to provide you an incentive. And it is a reimbursement um, you know, payment. So it isn't as if you're going to hire the person and bring them on and we're going to um, pay for that person's salary up front. You would have to pay that person as you do, do anybody else that's on your payroll. And once they complete that training, we track their hours. We just ask that you provide us with a time card to verify their hours. We will track their hours. And once they reach the 480th hour, then we start bringing out the final paperwork, have you sign off on it, and then we have a check cut to you and reimburse you 50% of their salary. It's a nice chunk of change, a couple of thousand dollars usually for an employer. And if you were going to do it anyway, doesn't hurt. Today's question is what percentage of your training expense will the Economic Development Agency reimburse? Will they reimburse 10%, 25%, or 50%? The Southwest Veterans Business Resource Center, where communities serve veterans.